Right now I'm at the Sutton Motor Inn, which is a drive-in movie theater that has been abandoned since the 90s. And I am so excited to be here. I've wanted to come here for a long time. And right here next to me is the movie screen. This is so cool. So let's check this awesome place out. So here it is. This is where the cars would park to watch the movie on that movie screen. I can't believe this place is still here. Oh my god, I was like, is that a bat or a bird? It was a bird. Yeah, it's a bird. If that was a bat, I would have freaked out. I don't know what building I'm in. It's obviously the concession stand. But I don't know what this part was used for. And yeah, there's a bird trapped in here flying all around and it's gonna like crash into my face and I'm gonna scream like a girl right on camera. Ooh. Yeah, obviously the lights don't work. I just put my foot through that. My foot went through that. I don't think they're gonna mind though. Oh, is this, yeah, this is the bathrooms. That's what this is. Wow. Still got the, I don't know, if, yeah. Toilet paper holders right there. Can anybody spare a square? This looks like it needs one. What's left of the toilet? Okay. Yeah, these are the bathrooms. Okay, mystery solved. and straws. We have a, a very well intact pizza plate. Seriously, that is one well preserved pizza plate for a, a place that's been abandoned for at least 25 years. It's not even faded. You could eat pizza off of this right now and not get contaminated. I guess this is why they've started to ban straws. Like, have you heard that? They're starting to ban straws at restaurants now. And I can see why, because they definitely last a really long time. That's a pile of straws right there. They don't biodegrade. Uh, I've learned that today. Straws definitely last a very long time in the, in the environment, as well as pizza plates. Another bathroom. Oh, this is the this is the men's room. As you can see, this is a very cavernous men's room. Look at this. Even in its heyday, this had to be the most awkward bathroom on the planet. It's like look how close you are to the next guy. You are literally 
shoulder to shoulder with the next guy. And it looks like you're peeing in a dungeon. I think I'd skip peeing in here. I'd just skip it. Very close quarters. Just your average stall. Okay, as cool as this is, I'd like to find a building that's not the bathrooms. Outside the bathrooms, we have some interesting art. Is that a pelican or a, a toucan? Where does this little secret door lead? Ooh, what is this? Oh my God. Wow. It is the concession stand. Look at this little door that leads to this big old concession stand. We got lights for the fan. The door fan. Food, store. Oh, this, this illuminates the sign. Okay. Termites have been here. Okay. This is pretty cool. I did not expect a room this large. It's the, it's the base to a, a glass, but this looks like an awfully an awfully nice glass for a drive-in movie theater. Like who orders a drink at a drive-in movie theater and gets a glass like this? This is like a wine glass. Was there wine at this drive-in movie theater? Ooh, <laughs> that bird, scared the bird. I ordered a large Coke. This is clearly a small. Can I get some service around here? Really? That's pretty cool. You could sit here and watch the movie from the concession stand if you didn't want to sit in your car, I think. Who ordered the seltzer water? Got your seltzer water right here. 4.30 movies about to start. Anyone? This place is dead. I found another one. Like, what are they serving in these glasses at a rundown drive-in movie theater? Even in its heyday, this was rundown. What are they serving out of, out of these? And a knob to the sink. I'd like to propose a toast to the Sutton Motor Inn. The only drive-in movie theater to serve its drinks in a wine goblet. This was a very classy place. I'm literally obsessed with these glasses being here. I don't know why. I'll put it up here in the window. So if you come here, you can also enjoy the weird wine glass. This is, oh, this is like a storage closet off the concession stand. It's got an exit. Goes right out to the parking lot. And we're back here. Anyone need any ice? Let's get a slow 360 of the old concession stand. So you get a good idea of what it looks like. It's pretty cool. 
There you go. A nice full view of the Sutton Motor Inn concession stand. I'm imagining all the makeout sessions and all the dirty, dirty drive-in movie sets that happened right here where I'm standing. I'm thinking of all the movies people ignored on that screen while they were busy with their debauchery out in the parking lot. I don't know if this was anything important, but it's nothing important now. Pretty much just a lot of wood pallets. I'm wondering where the projector was because the screen is way over there. How was the movie projected onto it? Where was the projector? Was this the projector? Is this the projector house? I have no idea. It's, it's in the right spot to project the movie. It's a little far away though. This is the corner where all the really bad kids parked. Because if you're way over here, you have absolutely no interest in watching the movie. So you parked way over here in this corner. If you were one of those little hooligans. I don't even want to know what this is or why it's here. We'll just walk swiftly away from that. Let's check out the ticket booth. If you've ever seen pictures of this place online, you will see that A-frame ticket booth. waste electricity and shut the lights out. Ticket please. Here's your ticket. Don't cut yourself. Not much to see in the ticket booth, but it is very cool and very well intact. So let's leave the ticket booth 
let's go check out the screen because I think you can go inside the screen. Yeah, you can go inside the screen. Let's go inside the screen. <laughs> so here it is, up close and personal with the movie screen. Now let's find our way inside of it. dandy door just for our convenience. Inside. Giant screen. Wow. This is eerily spooky. Look at that. We are inside the movie screen. Look at that. That is so cool. I had no idea you could go inside a drive-in movie theater screen, but you can. If you ever wondered what it looked like inside of a drive-in movie theater screen, this is it. This is what it looks like. I've just showed you. You're welcome. What is in here? We're in a little structure within the screen with a very rotted floor. So I'm going to exit. Okay. I'm poking my head out of a giant movie theater screen. Never thought I'd be doing that. Look, I'm part of the movie. I'm the movie. They're all watching me. All those trees in that vacant concession stand are now watching me. I'm tonight's feature. I'm sure everyone will want their money back. Okay, there's one more part of this place I want to see. It's the sign at the entrance to the theater. And the only problem is it's really close to the highway. It's actually right next to the highway. And although this is not a no trespassing area, I don't want to hang out by the road too long. So let's go check out the sign that welcomes you, or that used to welcome you, to the Sutton Motor Inn. Here's the back of the sign. Let's just quickly get a shot of the front. This is the inside of the sign. Not really much to it. Ooh, but there's a ladder. I want to climb it. But these boards are in the way. I'm totally climbing this. Here we go. Uh. Yeah, I climbed this dangerous rickety ladder. See? I had to do it. It's pretty, it's pretty securely nailed on there, but I don't recommend it. Oh my God, look. That's wicked cool. This is the little bridge I just walked under. I'm definitely not gonna go out onto it, but you can see it. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day from the abandoned Sutton Drive-In Movie Theater. And I gotta say, this was awesome. I did not expect there to be so much to see around here. I've seen countless pictures online of this place, but I had no idea the concession stand was that big. I had no idea the, the screen. You could go inside like this. I knew you could go inside, but I had no idea how cool it would be. The ticket booth, the bathrooms. I had no idea it was that interesting but it was definitely interesting so as always 
I'm going to say, if you're ever in Sutton and you're on the Worcester Parkway Turnpike, I don't know, and you see the marquee to the Sutton Motor Inn, you might want to stop by and check it out because it is so cool. Definitely glad I can cross this one off my abandoned places bucket list, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, signing off from the Sutton Drive-In. <laughs>